Well, we can't send y'all off to the weekend without our Fur Friday. Everybody meet Toby. We're joined now by Pets for People to tell us about our little furry friend here. Tell us who we got. Cynthia, this is Toby, and he's about three months old, and you can tell by his size of his feet. He's going to be a good size boy when he is grown, but he's already been microchipped and had his first round of shots, and he's been with us for about a week and a half. Um, I don't have any idea what he is. Maybe he almost has the markings of a Bernese Mountain Dog. Yeah. But, you know, these little mixed breed dogs are so much healthier and happier and well adjusted. And uh, so he's just looking for a, a family to adopt him. So how do you come to y'all? He actually was found as a stray, he and his sister. And so they are there at Pets for People along with a lot of other puppies because it's puppy season right now people would spay and neuter, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Um, but you know, he's such a good size, he's a kind of a sturdy size, so really he would be great even with kids, uh, maybe six or seven years old on up, but just uh, very laid back, very sweet, rode really good in the car, and even as young as he is, he's learning how to walk on a leash, so just a, a sweet little trusting innocent baby that's looking for a home. Pretty calm for a puppy yeah, too. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's about to take a nap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just want to get closer to the camera so y'all can see how pretty I am. And his coat's kind of unusual. I don't know if it's going to be a little bit longer when he gets grown, but you know, just a sweet little baby that he needs a home. So talking about puppy season, I was talking with Deborah about this yesterday. I mean, he needed to get your dogs fixed. <sighs> And it's so easy now, mm -hmm. it's so inexpensive. People really can't use that excuse anymore, but to have them spay or neutered, it's healthier for them. We don't have to worry about having unwanted litters of puppies. You know, they say that one female dog and her offspring in six years can produce 67,000 puppies. Wow. So it just gets out of hand so quick and it's just healthier for them and um, it's, just, it's just the right thing to do. Also, I wanted to ask you, since we are looking at some severe weather this weekend, if obviously keep your pets indoors during right. that, but what are some ways you can kind of calm your pu your pups down? Well, you know, now there are some uh, essential oils that work real well, like even lavender oil. Really? We use that on some of the, um, the uh, bandanas that we have at the shelter for the dogs. Um, but this check with your veterinarian because there's lots of things that can be used. You just have to kind of know ahead of time because it takes 30 or 45 minutes for that to, to go into effect. So you just need to be kind of aware of what the weather's going to be. But you know, whether it's the gunshots or it's the fireworks, those kind of noises just really can frighten some dogs and cats. Um, and it's just really sad. And then some of them don't even get uh, affected by it, but there's some that it really does affect them. Okay, and if people want to learn more about Pets for People, where can they do that? They can go to our website, petsforpeople.org, or go to our Facebook page, uh, Pets for People Tyler, and find out some of the things that we're doing. Um, but we also are going to be having our Dirty Dog Wash, Pelsey Subaru Dirty Dog Wash, on June the 8th, so mark your calendar for that as well. So lots of things going on, but we really encourage people to come out to the shelter and take a look. It's, it's just, just a, a sanctuary, and we're there Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 1, 2 to 5. All right. Thank you so much, Thanks, Gail. Cynthia. All right, Toby, it's not goodbye. It's